On with the journey. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. your attitude. Better teach you a lesson. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. You'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead! Hand over all your credits if you want to live. Are you joking? We don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. We were happy to help. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same! T3 of 4. There you are. Let me see your droids. I'll take the T3 H8 unit. Here's 50 credits. With team member rank thong, muli ra on shatoring um ni patoga wanga chonzi tse. Ika krotu haku jije, watu yama kama wuna henak neck. My money back. It blew up. I came to get my money back. I think you should give me something extra for all the trouble. Yes, I like it. I like it. I'll be back for you. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. You're from the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. Nice to meet you, Sana. I'm Brennus Tarvo. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. You can make this job pretty lonely. You're just doing your job, right? I don't hold that against you. Say the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. But I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this Damn. conversation never happened. Now move along. Back again. D Sorry, I'm not trying to judge. Uh, it's okay. I might have overacted a bit. But can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. I'm not sure. Not from Paris. I'm just stuck here until the quarantine ends. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. Hey, we're both changed on Terrace. We have to stick together. You're right. It's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Everybody has their ups and downs. It's so how you deal with them that counts. Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. 
need to blow off some steam once in a while. Well, that's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Sounds good. I'll be there. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. I got me a D! Yes! <laughs> Shooting. Karth, you slow asshole. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Dabak's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Dabak where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Give me the credits. I won't tell Dabak you're hiding here. Here, take the credits. But please, just don't tell Dabak where I'm hiding. He'll kill me if he finds me. I know we might need credits, but there's got to be a better way to get them than this. Just here to steal your stuff. No worry. Don't. Don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. Yeah, that's your problem. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. Yeah. Now I can go to the undersea. What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Since you're going to the lower says you belong, Slummy. Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> You better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Try to pick a fight, you've got one. Hey, this schlemmy's got a mouth. Oh, great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink? You talk big, schlemmy. Maybe you should show us a little more respect. Time to teach you a lesson, schlemmy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Fuck. Karadumpa kunpa yeya mokapata! Kun <laughs> 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 Kavatumpa kurpaiya moka paata. Chiyoka kutumpa kurpaiya. That's a lot for just two two words. Triple kill. Yeah, take that bitches. Ah. Last time. How do you like that? 
Remember this this part I know I have to activate these these things one at a time. Just I need <laughs> twisted my core tree, tree. Linda Uja Uchi Lupa Photo Ashana. Yeah. I'm here to rob the place. Sit down, shut up, and you won't get it. Kava Tumpa Kunpa Yiya Moka Paata! Go away. Kiss can eat you. Kimba muli rat wanna ji. Kimba no kun mix at abom. Kakin cha na wabaka on. Tun abashun ni chun chi. Kipona. Kava tumpa kurpa yiya moka paata. Chi yoka ku tumpa kurpa yiya. One. Oscar. Kiss can eat you. The hoopa botania go gigi piti. Kipona. Kava tumpa ku pailea muka pata. Chiyoka ku tumpa ku pailea. Two. Chiyoka ku. Kimba muli rap wana ji. Ku yami juski chika nai. Uba baska dwana chichopa muska. Chiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Tune pudu. Rananu prata dunko shirkasha. Chum na pike. Three. And boom. Don't mind me, I'm just looting their bodies. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Kuyami juski chika nai. Tong patoga smaktilia. Dabis dubong kuki punk pa. Tongi tuama ji human ak un tinketune. Who you calling little girl, tuba face? Ubabatu konchi. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chaju. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. Kiyokaku! Kimba muli rat wana ji! Kuyami juski chika nai! Uba baska dwana chichopa muska! Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu! You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Chubasa! Kimba muli rat wana ji! Kama volpa murji guma ya! Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Hey, we speak the same language. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sorta of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... How do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. 
Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. I want to ask you some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Tell me about Davik. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Tell me about the Lower City Gangs. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the Lower City. The Black Bulkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in the swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. Why did Brezhik leave the Hidden Becks? When Gadden went blind, Everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. Tell me about Kalanord. Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. I'll be going now. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Tell me about the bounties. How is my knowledge? Don't you me a hack on on? Mulera yonunaze. Teaching with it one night I wish. Mulene bohome. Uva na tu la boda. Yami juza. Ayo hono pis. Tu wula ji yokaku. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of the victims. Tunira manu prata dunkyo, searcha toma toma. Kawa ui pamulji kumana. Kim kon shashi kin. Ne kin kol ne la mule la je kun. Wama kumbes chintaya muli. Tunira manu prata dunkyo. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Kachi chonai thaudunga. Tau kum justak mi kegrabi mogo. Tur pada vunkwa yagando danaga chuchut. Moga shampumpa. Boya wana chikni. Bamul slimbo podana wanga kumbis. Mulira vest. 
I've got a bounty I want to collect on. Tombaturas Magdilia. Hehe. As... Tachichun Naifa Odunga. Taupum Justak Mikegrabrimoga. Tulpadabum Kweyagandoda Naga Chuchut. Moga Shambumpa. Bolyawa Nachikmi. Tamul Slimbo Podana Wanga Kumbis. Muliradis. Jibedwa nani bobo, tungnamu unsha nungyang, muchi kito waki jiji haku. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you. Kachi chunai thaodunga, taukum justak mike grabi moga, turpada mungkwa yagando danaga chuchut, moga shampumpa, boya wana chikni. Fuck. Oops. What do you want now? You're not going to tell Davix bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? I knew you were here to kill me. Yeah. Time to run. Son of a bitch, you hit me. <laughs> okay, so Basla, Kandras, HK47, Jolie Bindo, Juhani, Zalbar, T3M4, and Mission Veil. Vale. I remember my first playthrough, I fucked up with uh, Juhani and I killed her. It was like I encountered her, I thought, yeah, so I didn't think she was just gonna be. I thought she was just gonna be a regular NPC, but then. <laughs> turns out she was a companion. And I killed her! I was actually playing the old Republic earlier tonight, but the Wi-Fi kept going out and I kept losing connection to the server, so it was kind of annoying. I thought, maybe I should just record playing this game. Do I still need the Sith armor? It's obvious from the way you move along then. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Okay. Just gotta make sure he doesn't see me first. and speak to Gavin if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Bex are watching you. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Volkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Volkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. 
They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry. I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. I have to get in there and rescue her. Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Gatton, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Volker base? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. Where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Okay. I'll trade the uniforms for the papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'll be back when I get the prototype accelerator. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. How'd you like that? How'd you like that? You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Calo Nord. Tony Pudu! 
I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking Look forward, forward to cracking, to cracking some, some heads. heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Yeah. Badass Mandalorian. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Chiwi Aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune chuna muri ra. Tangi mama chiko na. Tong ki pa non ku nek abog. Chiyo kaku! Kinba muri ra dwana ji. Kuyami juski chika nai. Uba baska dwana chichopa muska. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chaju. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just kronki to pets nemo. Chi ita kanki chana kilikon. Kinba muli ra dwana ji. Kinba no ku nikset abog. That's the plan. Disable them. No problem. Didn't work. Son of a bitch. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now. What are you doing here? You're a fool if you think you- Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Grenade, bitch. Ow, fuck. How'd you like that? Holy shit. No! First knockout of the game. <laughs> I'm gonna need to buy some supplies. Fuckload of grenades. Don't mess with me, bitch. Let's collect that bounty and then I'll end my recording. And that'll be it for this this session. <laughs> Not sure if you know, but in May of last year, 2017, voice actor John Sagan had passed away. In Knights, Knights of the Old Republic, he's known as 
at Cadrus Ordo, the Mandalorian. In the sequel game, The Sith Lords, he is known as Mandalore. I also know, know him from his role as Solidus Snake from Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. All I would like to say is, rest in peace, man. <laughs>